Anything that can fly a hundred billion light years from space is not like us. And they don't want to see you present. The jackass of all jackasses. You know, they, they don't want to hear you, your little stories. They'd be very different than anybody you know. So you see, they have nothing. In other words, if they came from another planet, what they would do is give us the answers to a lot of problems. Rather than come to take over. A lot of people believe in flying saucers. I know you don't know this, but I was hired by the publishers of the first book on flying saucers to look at the photographs that people took of flying saucers. So far, all of those pictures were fake. I can tell by the size of the disc in relation to the trees. They were a few, few inches in diameter. And the one that you see on the covers of most magazines with the three spheres underneath it, tilted, and portholes, is a 1927 Sears and Roebuck chicken brooder. <laughs> so people that believe in flying saucers think that people are coming here from another world to show us the way. You know, or God will send us angels down if we behave badly. Well, the whole concept of God is a fictitious structure. Now, the right hand of man of God was named Lucifer. And God said, try to better yourself. So Lucifer wanted God's throne. So God got angry and he kicked all those angels out. They're called the falling angels. If God didn't know that his son would be crucified, he's one of the lesser gods. <coughs> so you see, you know, your God isn't even smart. It's the kind of God men make and worship as dumb as they are. He gets angry, creates floods, disease, the body plague, because people don't believe. He made them. What the hell do you expect? So here you have these contradictory stories. And then you have constant romance on television. Romantic novels. So people are constantly looking for the right person. There is no right person if you keep changing and reading and learning more. The person you married when you were 21 is the wrong person when you're 42. And unless they read the same books you read and you share values. You see what I mean? So you can't have a constant anything. There's no final thing you can work on that works. There's no best language. Some people say, what if we learn interlingua or something like that, some universal language. Universal language doesn't change people. <laughs> Semantics doesn't change people unless you change the whole society. Semantics will use it to make more money. They'll use semantics or anything else. So you don't have a decent society. You can't even be decent. Let's say you're a decent woman, and you work for Macy's. And the woman next to you says, how much is that lamb? And you say, $20. She says, I'll take two. Being decent and a Christian, you say, if you go four stores down, you get the same lamb for 10 bucks. You won't be working for Macy's very long. So how can you be decent and be a lawyer? How can you be decent be a psychiatrist? 65 bucks an hour. If the guy has financial problems, give him some money so he can easily solve his problems. But the, the psychiatrist makes it more difficult for a person with financial problems. So as soon as a psychiatrist is decent, they act in accordance with the society they live in. I'm sorry if you're a psychiatrist. But anyway, same with psychology. Now, people are not brought up to be sane because they don't know what that means. Being sane, you don't look at an airplane and say, that's a new kind of plane, it'll never fly. Which is the way people will talk in the future. I don't see any wings on that plane. How do you propose to lift off the ground without wings? It's really a question. Not, it'll never fly, it doesn't have any wings. You don't know what you're talking about. When you see a new type of anything, you say, where's the image screen on the TV set? Well, in the future, there'll be no image screen. They'll generate an image in your room. The next thing on TV is 3D without glasses. What comes after that? <coughs> Generated images. You can have your brother-in-law sit in your house, and you, he lives in California, and he's sitting on the couch. The only thing that matters is you put your hand through it, and people won't like that. I'd like to be able to shake hands with my brother-in-law. That's the next thing on TV, called teletactile imaging. Well, how the hell can you make teletactile imaging? I'm going to tell you how. 
at the tip of your finger, you have a batch of nerves. When you stick this finger in cold water, the transmission of that cold to the brain is so many thousand cycles per second. When you stick your finger in hot water, it is hot, the transmission is different. So if you learn what those transmissions are and play them into the finger, you can play your finger in hot water, salt water, touching a balloon. Do you understand what I mean? From the fingertip to the brain, there's a transmission of so many cycles per second. Your tongue has holes in it, lots of them. And when you eat bacon and eggs, it falls in that hole, it's pre-digested, and the nerve underneath it titillates a certain way to the brain, which you interpret as bacon and eggs. When we find out those frequencies, that's what we'll be studying in the future, when people say, what will people do? You can make anything taste like anything else. And you can make, they say in your school books, everybody gets old and dies. So we all accept that. But the medics tell us, the physiologists, that plaque accumulates in our blood vessels, and the wall becomes thick like a clogged sewer pipe, and the nutrients can't get out, so you get old and wrinkled. Not because you're getting old and wrinkled, because we don't know how to maintain the body at its optimal. But we're moving fast in that direction, and we'll be able to clean out the blood vessels and keep you at 22 all the time, or go back to 22, or whatever age is your maximum performance. People can live indefinitely when people learn more about how the body works. Instead of praying, dear God, it hadn't rained for six months, my plants are drying now, dig a ditch, an irrigation ditch. All the scientists are trying to tell you, get up off your ass and make it a better place. Instead of hoping that the Lord saw, give us peace on earth and goodwill to all people. What the hell is that mean? Nothing. You give lip service to religion. God is wonderful. God is great. You know, it's like being the teacher in Apple. They're trying to get on the good side of God. They can't even conceive of God. So I'm saying to you, if you want a better world, you have to agree with some portions of what I say or disagree. And please don't be polite when you ask questions. If you ask questions, if I fail to answer it, say you didn't answer my question. Don't be polite, please. So let's go to our questions. Yes. Uh, let me have a little bit of this first. <clears throat>